Hey there, future entrepreneurs. Welcome back to our channel, where we dive deep into the world of business, innovation, and success. Today, we're tackling one of the most important topics for anyone looking to make their mark in the business world, how to think like an entrepreneur. And trust me, developing the right mindset is half the battle won. So grab a notebook because we're about to get into some serious mindset shifts that will help you achieve your goals. Let's dive in. Develop specific thinking habits. The first thing's first. An entrepreneur's mind operates differently. We don't just see the world as it is. We see it as it could be. Entrepreneurs are solution oriented. When faced with a challenge, we don't dwell on the problem. We immediately shift on focusing to finding the solution. For example, when I started my first business, I faced numerous obstacles, lacking of funding, tough competition, you name it. But instead of thinking, this is too hard, I asked myself, how can I overcome this? What are my options? This simple shift in perspective can turn a potential failure into a stepping stone to success. So start developing a habit of asking empowering questions. Whenever you encounter a problem, ask yourself, what's the opportunity here? How can I turn this situation to my advantage? Remember, every problem is a disguised opportunity. Process towards achieving goals. Successful entrepreneurs don't just set vague, unachievable goals. They set smart goals, specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. But here's the kicker. We also set stretch goals that push us beyond our comfort zone. Take my friend Sarah, for example. She didn't just aim to start a business. She aimed to launch a tech startup with a 100,000 users in the first year. She then broke that goal down into smaller, actionable steps. Developing the product, creating a marketing strategy, building a user base. Each step had its own mini goal, deadline, and key performance indicators. And guess what? She hit her target because she had a clear roadmap. The lesson here? Break your big goals into smaller, manageable tasks and make sure that you're measuring your progress regularly. This keeps you focused and motivated. And before you know it, you'll be ticking off these goals like a pro. Brainstorming ideas and innovation. Now let's talk about brainstorming. This is where creativity meets strategy. The best ideas often come from an unexpected place. Like I follow a three-step process for brainstorming. Diverge, converge, and execute. Step one, diverge. Think as uh, many ideas as possible without judging them. Get wild, get crazy. Remember, no idea is too silly at this stage. Step two, converge. Narrow down your list to the most feasible and impactful ideas. Analyze them based on factors like market demand, scalability, and your own passion. Step three, execute. This is where the rubber meets the road. Pick one idea and run with it. Test it, refine it, pivot if necessary, but don't get stuck in the brainstorming phase forever. Let me share a quick story. When brainstorming for a new product line, my team and I used this exact process. We ended up with a list of over 50 ideas. We narrowed it down to five and finally executed on one. The product line went on to become one of our biggest revenue generators. Generating money from ideas. Ideas themselves are not worth much unless they can generate revenue. And here's the process. Validate, monetize, and scale. First, validate your idea. This means conducting market research to ensure that there is a demand for your product or service. This step is crucial because you don't want to invest time and money into something that nobody wants. Once validated, monetize. Figure out the best way to make money from your idea. Is it through direct sales, subscription models, affiliate marketing, or maybe a freemium model? For instance, when I launched my first e-learning platform, we started with a freemium model, offering basic courses for free and charging for advanced ones. This strategy helped us build a larger user base quickly. Finally, scale. Once you've got a working business model and revenue coming in, focus on scaling up. This could mean expanding your product line, entering new markets, or even franchising your business.